Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to write nuclear equations to show alpha and beta decay. Now a nuclear equation shows us what's produced when a radioactive nucleus decays. This sounds tricky, but it really isn't if you just learn the rules that I'm going to show you. Let's start by looking at alpha decay. Remember that an alpha particle has got two protons and two neutrons, so it's the same as the nucleus of a helium atom. Scientists represent an alpha particle by using the symbol for helium, like this. So looking at the atomic number, which is 2, we can see that an alpha particle contains two protons. The mass number 4 tells us that the alpha particle has got four protons and neutrons added together, so it must have two neutrons. OK, so let's look now at a nuclear equation for alpha decay. This shows the element radium. Radium decays by releasing an alpha particle, and this produces the element radon. Now you could be asked to work out the atomic number and the mass number for the element produced by alpha decay. So let's work them out for the radon that's produced here. Well, radium has an atomic number of 88, and here it is. So the original radium atom had 88 protons. The alpha particle has got two protons, and there they are. To work out the atomic number of the radon produced, we've got to subtract 2 from 88. So that means that the atomic number for radon is 86, and there it is. So this gives us the first rule for alpha decay. During alpha decay, the atomic number decreases by 2. Now the mass number of the radium atom is 226, and there it is. However, the alpha particle released has a mass number of 4. This means that the mass number of the radon isotope produced by alpha decay must be 226 minus 4, which gives us 222, and there it is. So here's the second rule for alpha decay. During alpha decay, the mass number decreases by 4. Here's one for you to try. This shows the alpha decay of the element americium. This is the element that we find in smoke detectors. When americium undergoes alpha decay, it forms neptunium. I'd like you to work out the atomic number and the mass number of the neptunium. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, the atomic number of americium is 95, and there it is. The atomic number of an alpha particle is 2. Subtracting 2 from 95 gives us an atomic number of 93 for neptunium. The mass number of americium is 241, and the mass number of an alpha particle is 4. Subtracting 4 from 241 gives us a mass number of 237 for this isotope of neptunium. OK, so let's take a look now at nuclear equations for beta decay. Remember that in beta decay, a neutron changes to a proton and an electron. The electron's ejected from the nucleus, and we now call it a beta particle. So this shows the beta decay of an isotope of the element aluminium. It's changing to silicon by releasing a beta particle. Because a neutron has changed to a proton, the atomic number increases by 1. So in this case, the atomic number of the silicon must be 14. And here it is. In beta decay, the mass number does not change. That's because the total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus stays the same. So this silicon isotope has a mass number 29. Here's the rule for beta decay. In beta decay, the atomic number increases by 1, but the mass number does not change. Here's one for you to try. This shows iodine turning into xenon by releasing a beta particle. I'd like you to work out the atomic number and the mass number of the xenon atom, so pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, in beta decay, the atomic number increases by 1, so the atomic number of xenon must be 54, and there it is. In beta decay, the mass number does not change, so in this case, the xenon isotope must have a mass number of 131. Now we've looked at alpha and beta decay, but what about gamma decay? Well, in this case, both the atomic number and the mass number are not changed at all. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on nuclear equations in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to write nuclear equations to show alpha and beta decay.